kingdom. Every sprouting tree, every child of peace, every cloud and sea. You see with your eyes, the see the structure and the mind. Seen in the sky, from this Hey, check it out. A squirrel crossing. Pretty cool. You don't see that every day. Tell you what, it's going to be really fun getting out here in the kayak. I can't wait. These waters look like they're going to have some really good bass fishing and possibly some muskies and pike and you name it. It's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to get out here. But winter can't get over with too soon because there's still quite a bit of fishing still left to do. But as soon as the snow melts and the ice breaks up, I'm going to be out there and I can't wait. Join me. Well, we're here, going to get ready to do a little fishing. All the Mississippi backwaters all flung out into all this area here. And there's more tributaries all out behind me here, so should be good. I definitely see there's some open water over here, so that's a side you don't want to get on. But we're going to stay close to this shoreline right here, work our way out that way. Work our way into small little reservoirs that are back in here, so hopefully it'll be good. So fishing season's winding down it's coming to the end everything's pretty much closed right now except for pan fish right now so if i can get into some good crappies it should be a good day so all right let's get on the ice all right guys so here's the smitty sled so i think the smitty sled works pretty good um what i've found is um the ski not having a solid bridge across it lets that ski flex and move and stuff just like you want it to just like when you're riding on skis. And uh, and it gives you more control on your skiing that way because they're not just stiff. But having each one of these, you know, you know, braces on here to an independent axle, if you could think of it that way, it gives the whole entire system some flexibility to move while everything's tied in real tight on these crossbars right here. Uh, it works really well. Um, I haven't had any problems with it. On, uh, I'll try to see if I can get a, a side view of this to give you a, an image of what's kind of happened here. And it stays really well. It, uh, pretty strong. I think it's going to be a really good smitty sled. And for any reason that I feel like I need to make any changes, it might only be just to shorten this up if I want to lower it for some reason. Um, if not, and I do a long pull, 
my option is also that I could actually add something onto these upright bars here and come up and across again. And I could put things up above this thing so I'm not just stacking it all in this ice house. Um, I mean, it's an option. Or somehow coming off these braces right here out and I can actually rest my auger on this. I mean, there's all kinds of infinite ways you can make this work. This EMT pipe, it's really versatile. It's really strong. It's lightweight. It all comes apart really easy, packs away real nice. Um, I'd strongly suggest anybody building something like this. I've never seen one like this made so far. Kind of an idea I just kind of came up with. And uh, I like it. I think you'll like it too. So if you want to give it a shot and put a build together like this, by all means, have fun with it. It was an easy build, not an expensive build, and it works really, really well. So I've made it out. I'm on the ice now. I'm sitting right around five feet of water right here. Uh, I got a river that runs right back through here. Try to get an idea of what I got right here. I got a river right there. And then as I come out this way on this point, which then there's another river run that goes back this way. And then that river right there there I'm talking about runs all the way down this way and that spills out towards the Mississippi River right there so I got a small river here a main river channel here there's another a bit of a river channel on the other side of that embankment right there so it's like fingers everywhere out here um, so hopefully we run into something good out here um, I don't really want to get any closer because you can see the, the shadow in effect right there well beyond that if you can tell there is some open water and you can't tell but there's there's open water on that edge over there and I'm not about to go swimming so uh, let's see what happens here uh, I'll get the cameras all rolling up out here and then we'll see if we can run into something all right so now I'm out in the river channel right here of all these backwaters here this river system kind of winds back. There's a couple other river tributaries that happen inside there. In the area that I'm in right now is probably right around five feet. I'm kind of hugging along the shoreline here. There's some fallen timber and stuff like that in here. So let's give it a shot and see what happens. I've never been over in this spot right here, so it'll be the first time for me. Oh, all in all, it really wasn't that bad of a day. I got a chance to come out here and do a little fishing out here in the Mississippi bottoms backwaters. And uh, I didn't catch anything. I marked a lot of fish. I was dropping a rip and wrap down there. Um, many different plastics, a couple different colors. Um, it's dark out now, so I mean, I was even going with the glow. Nothing. I get sniffers that hang in there for 15, 20 seconds, and that's about it. Then they'd move on. But uh, it was fun. Um, I got a chance, like I said, to get out here in these backwaters to give it a shot. Um, I'm thinking probably if I would have had minnows or fatheads or something like that, I probably would have had a lot better luck. Um, but I tried everything I could, and, you know, and who knows, some days you just can't catch them and you're marking them, but they won't bite them. Today was one of those days. But other than that, I got a chance to use my Smitty sled for the very first time out here. And uh, I tell you what, it was awesome. If you don't have a Smitty sled and you're doing a lot of pulling, you're going to love one of these things. You need to get yourself one of them. So this is the first time I've ever had a chance to use one. And uh, I just put a video out, check out on my channel. Um, there is one in there on the whole description on how I built this one. Um, it really works awesome. It's easy, lightweight, portable. It packs up perfectly in the back of my Dakota. Um, it's awesome and it's flexible. It's got some movement in there so it actually transitions really nice to the ice and stuff like that and the different contours of the lay of the land. Um, my ice house sat tight on that thing and uh, once it's strapped in it's even more more rigid. Um, 
but it's a pretty good setup. I'm really happy with it. And I got a couple ideas I might want to make some changes with it. Not that anything was bad with it, things that I want to make add-ons to it. And I think that'll be kind of cool because I got a whole bunch of different ideas to go on along with this thing. But um, yeah, anyway, so I did get a chance out here, like I said, out in these Mississippi backwaters. And I tell you what, I can't wait to get out here in the kayak. It is gonna be awesome. The waters are great. Um, I was probably sitting anywhere averaging between three and a half foot to about five foot of water. Um, I don't know how deep a lot of the water is. I only punched so many holes, but I can assume there's probably a consistency of that throughout the whole entire riverway that I was in back there. Um, I'm sure there's probably some deeper holes in that, but I'll find out when I get my kayak in there and drop the depth finder in there and see what's going on. But I think it's gonna be fun out here for some bass fishing, pike, whatever it is. I'm not very far off the Mississippi River, so it's gonna be a good early season too. So I can't wait to get out here again and do it with the kayak. Um, but thanks a lot for checking out the channel and um, do me a favor and if you like what you saw um, and you like the channel at all from based on what everything I've already put out already so far do me a favor give me a like hit that subscribe and ring that bell so you can get the notifications when there's more videos popping up I appreciate you tuning into yak angling thanks a lot and have a good one mm -hmm.